I solemnly swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. And if I am found to be lying, I accept full prosecution under the full extent of the sports law. This is Sports in Order. I'm the attorney at sports. This is my courtroom. On this show, it's obviously like I said, Sports in Order. You get the hint. I'm the attorney. It's going to be a sports-related show. Obviously, right? If it wasn't sports-related, you guys probably wouldn't be tuning in. It's going to be NFL, MLB, NBA, built around fantasy sports. Mainly fantasy football. We're going to add fantasy baseball into it as well. But let's cut the nonsense. Everybody cares about fantasy football. You wake up on NFL Sunday. You know, you do your routine, whatever it may be. Go to the gym. Get your food. Make love to the girlfriend. Whatever it is. But there's one thing you're not forgetting to do, and that's checking your fantasy football lineup. You're checking that lineup multiple times before the games, making sure this player's active, making sure that player, making sure, just making sure your lineup is set to the best extent and to the best of its abilities. That's what, and in my opinion, fantasy football, now NFL Sunday, the NFL in general will be relevant regardless, but what makes it more relevant, in my opinion, is fantasy football. Without fantasy football, the common fan probably wouldn't watch the NFL. Like me, as you guys can tell, I'm a Giants fan. If my Giants play at 1 o'clock, once that game's over, I'm going to continue to watch the NFL and the other games because of fantasy football. Fantasy football rules, baby. So on this show, we're going to talk about fantasy football. As the NFL season gets closer and the summer and the summer hits and mock draft season starts, that's when this show I will really be hitting hard with the fantasy football, the mock drafts every episode, the tips, you know, players to target in your drafts, all that good stuff. We're a little bit of ways away from that, but we have some we have some good stuff to talk about today. Most notably, the NFL draft, the first round of the NFL draft that happened just last night. One of the craziest drafts in a while. That man, that, that was intense. Some records were broken, some history was made. We're gonna talk about that. We're gonna talk a little bit about the NBA, you know, mainly my Knicks and their head coaching search. We're going to introduce a segment called the Interrogation Room, where I grill a celebrity, a player, a coach, doesn't matter who it is, but he gets grilled. And then we're going to finish off with some fantasy baseball tips. The introduction to fantasy baseball will be today. I'm not going to give you guys players the target specifically, I'm just going to introduce it today. But with that being said, let's cut the nonsense and let's get right to it. Let's talk about last night's NFL draft. That draft was crazy, like crazy, crazy, like the, you think the unexpected? No, it was the unexpected times 10. First of all, first time since 1999 that five quarterbacks were drafted in the first round. That almost didn't happen. It took the Ravens trading up into the last for the last pick of the first round to draft Lamar Jackson. Can you believe Lamar Jackson fell to the last pick of the first round? That's criminal. And a lot of you scouts, and a lot of you GMs, and a lot of you coaches that pass on Lamar Jackson, huh, you're going to pay the price. I'll tell you that much. But yeah, five quarterbacks were drafted in the first round. First time since 1999. Baker Mayfield went first. Sam Darnold went third. Josh Allen went seventh to the Bills. Josh Rosen went tenth to the Cardinals. And Lamar Jackson went 32nd to the Ravens. But let's talk about that first pick. Baker Mayfield, man. Baker Mayfield was my favorite quarterback in this draft. I thought that I would have loved the Giants to draft him. But he went to the Cleveland Browns, and a lot of people are getting on on the Cleveland Browns for making this pick and and already dismissing it because you know quarterbacks go to hell or go to die in Cleveland. A quarterback doesn't develop in Cleveland. You guys have all seen the list since like 1999. Like 30 quarterbacks have started for the Cleveland Browns, and obviously they, not one of them was their franchise quarterback. So people are saying, "Oh, Baker Mayfield to the Browns. He's going to just be added to that list. He's going to be a bust. You know, forget about him." Nah, 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 nah. Baker Mayfield. He even said it. If anybody's to turn the Cleveland Browns around, it's Baker Mayfield. This guy's a winner. This guy just brings a winning culture to whatever.